just want to hit the brakes. It just... All right, what's going on, guys? My name is Alex Wittick, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, today, I am super excited because we're going to make the Tilted TDI the lowest I think it's ever gone. Now that we have the shock mounts chopped, we have the front struts completely maxed out at their lowest, there's only one more thing to do. It's the tuck on stock wheels. Now, we would be lower, but now we're completely tucking in the front and we're not tucking in the rear. So if I put the stock wheels on, we'll be able to lower the rear another three, four inches, honestly. The thing that's stopping us in the front is that the 18s are touching the wheel uh, liner in the front. So the car's basically held up in the front by how much it's tucking and in the rear, it's held up by the lip. So let's go ahead, let's throw the stocks on and let's see how this thing drives because I'm also interested because of the high thick sidewall that we have on stocks. Um, the car's gonna drive much different. I'm gonna keep them at 45 PSI and we're gonna run them like that. But I'm, I'm honestly super excited to see how low the car gets because it's gonna go another, honestly, probably two, three inches in the front. And uh, we might be sitting on the oil pan. So uh, let's see how the rear looks as well. So let's get into it. First things first, I have to come out to underneath the deck. I did some uh, some cleaning up underneath here the other day. I don't know if you guys remember back to the moped days, but uh, it's always been like a cluttered mess right here. But here are the stocks underneath all these golf balls. So let's go ahead, remove the moped, get these stocks out and uh, All right guys, so we got the wheels pulled off from underneath the deck. Got them sitting right here in a big pile and uh, let's go bring them over to the car. Also guys, I'm still using the little tripod I had made for the phone when I take time lapses out of the BC coil over. Some people said, oh, he's not gonna use it, but I used it, I still use it, and I'm gonna keep using it. So before we go ahead and we take those stock wheels and we bring them over to the Tilted TDI, I wanna pull the car out of the garage, get a measuring tape, and then measure how high the car is off the ground. Cause here it is, here's ride height. It's super close, but I wanna see how high it is when it's aired out from the ground. So we'll take a measuring tape, we'll measure it to the ground, we'll do the exact same for the front, and we'll see how much of a difference it is once we lower it down onto the stocks, how much lower we actually should go. Cause I'm predicting in the rear, we will probably go down about two to three inches, as crazy as that sounds and uh, maybe two inches in the front, fingers crossed, but uh, I think we'll get this thing really low. So I'm excited, hopefully you guys are too. Let's lay this frame on the ground. So guys, now that the car is airing up, well, the car is all aired up now. The tank is filling up with air. I'm gonna leave the car on for a few minutes. And then once that, that goes ahead and happens, I'm gonna completely air the car out. We're gonna measure everything, start the car back up, air it up, and then we'll go ahead and we'll take the wheels off and we'll see this real comparison. So guys, after I aired the car out, I went up to the front of the car because I wanted to see how low I can go, but I noticed that the driver's side was a little bit higher than the passenger side, which means that my frame notch is actually being utilized. And it hasn't been utilized in like two years because the, the fender lift fitment didn't allow the wheel to go any further down. But then I was like, well, the car has no movement. I tried shaking it, no movement at all, not even from the tires. And I was like, what the heck? And I heard a little screeching noise. Actually underneath the car, the subframe is completely maxed out on the ground and one of the bolts is digging into my driveway. So even if I threw the stocks on in the front, the car could go no lower. It's crushed, it's broken out of the way. From hitting the ground, sometimes drive. There's the subframe bolt that's on the ground right now. It's digging in, the car cannot move even if I pull the e-brake off. I mean, the wheels are tucked so they're pretty stuck too, but you can very clearly see that thing is on the ground. So the car can go no lower in the front. Let's see how low we can get this car to go. We might even sit on a gas tank, so we gotta be weary of that. So this car is about to be super low. So in order to do this, since the wheels are so kicked out and we can't really measure directly from the arch, I think the best thing I can do is go ahead and just measure straight from the side skirt because that's also as close to the ground. It's just it's gonna move a little bit different. Now, since the rear is gonna go down, the front's also gonna get go down in more of like a, a level form because now it's kind of raked with this being tucking and that not tucking. So we're losing about a whole inch of tuck in the front, maybe an inch and a half. So I'm just gonna go ahead. I got this right here. That's two inches exactly. No, it's not. Yes, uh, it's, like two, it's like two and a quarter. And then the rear, it's about a little bit less than four inches. So, you know, that's, that's a whole inch and a half difference. Okay, so I only brought three tires over to the car. And then the reason being is the fourth one that's still back there, which is, I guess, the fifth. 
That one is the spare spare that went into the trunk. And the spare that I use as the car for actually driving around in case something happens is the fourth actual stock wheel. So we got three in a pile, one in the rear. Let's take that out of the rear and let's land this thing because it's going to be so much lower, guys. Like it's it's going to be dumb low. So we're already on the subframe in the front. So putting these wheels on in the front is kind of pointless. But I mean, if we're going to throw two on, we may as well throw four to give the whole look. So let's get this thing slammed on the ground and uh, hopefully we won't even be able to move it because it'll be so low. Well guys, just my luck, absolutely terrible news. Middle of the video, luckily we were about to throw on these stocks, but uh, yeah, so when I went to go pull the car over there for the thumbnail today, somehow the wheel or tire debeated when I pulled back and uh, I didn't know. So as you can see, there's a whole entire trail right here leading up to the car. I said to myself, it feels like I debeated, but how would I debead? I only, I only went two feet. So my assumption is maybe there's a, a screw or a nail in the tire. I didn't know about it when I tried to move it. It was at such a low PSI. It popped off. Thankfully, it was in the driveway. But yeah, you come right here. There's a big zigzag in the driveway. And uh, tire is no longer stretched. And the whole lip inside of there of the barrel is destroyed. Fingers crossed that for some reason, the tire was just low PSI. And uh, we can get this wheel just popped right back on. Because for the stretch that I have, with these GT radials, you don't need a cheetah to get your tire back on. So nothing, you don't need to blast air into it. So my my hopes are that we could just pop some air back into this tire. And uh, well, we're throwing the stocks on anyway, so we don't need these wheels, but man, I really, I like Tommy, but I don't want to go see him again for another wheel repair, man. This is getting expensive, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna take a breath in, breath in, breath out, and uh, let's get this wheel back on here, and let's check out the damage. Uh, she looks so sad over there, but we're gonna take this tire out of the spare pile, and uh, we're gonna go get the jack out of the car. All the tools we need are already at the car, so let's go throw the spare on, and uh, let's inspect the damage. I'm really excited to see what I destroyed again. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, what a shame. I hate to see it. All right guys, so I got the stock mounted on there. I got the car idling. I'm gonna pull it back up and let's mount these, these uh, stocks on there and let's assess the damage on this BBS RS. It's kind of hard to look at, but you know, you can clearly see that the car drove for terribly long. And then right where I parked, I gouged into the driveway super bad when I hit the brakes. It basically dragged and uh, we basically, I'm pretty sure we have a crack in the wheel. We're gonna assess that in a minute. I don't really want to look at it because it kind of got me bummed out. So let's head out over here and let's mount these, these tires up or Damn, I destroyed my driveway and I destroyed my wheel. Brand new driveway. <sighs> what a day, what a day. Just to make my life a little easier, I went around the whole car with the breaker bar, broke every single little bolt loose on the wheels. Just gonna jack up the car and swap over these wheels. It's gonna look sick. I'm actually kind of excited. Getting my, uh, my energy back up after destroying my wheel. <sighs> what a day. Guys, I'm so hyped on how this looks, honestly. A bunch of people were saying that the stock wheels look good. I've always loved the stock wheels, but now they're able to go so low, it's just mind blowing. I got all these wheels mounted up. Hopefully you guys like the way that this looks. But um, let's go ahead, let's air this thing out, and uh, I'm gonna pull in the middle of the driveway so we can get the full effect. But I'm excited to see how low it goes, so let's do it. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna end off today's video here. I really enjoyed putting these wheels on and they look really aesthetically pleasing. I'm super hyped on that and I always did like the way it looked, but now that we have this suspension as low as it could possibly go, when this car airs out, it hits the subframe. Make sure you check out the next video that I'm gonna be dropping as well because I took this car for a little test drive just down the road and back up 
and uh, we hit the subframe super hard so that that's how I know that we got to maybe raise the car a little bit up maybe run some more PSI but yeah it drove sick as far as the whole crack on the wheel goes um, it's not the worst if you have a cracked wheel, hit up MK underscore Tommy, good friend of mine. Like I always say in most of the videos is there's always a wheel problem or I'm with Tommy. So Tommy will get your wheel sitting right. He works at the wheel and rim group and uh, they do a, a great job. So hit up Tommy and uh, I'm going to get that wheel fixed within a week or so. But guys, I'm going to do the driving video. I'm really excited to do that. So guys, I enjoyed making this video for you today. Giveaway at 10K. Let's get to 10,000 subscribers. It'd mean the world to me. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just super excited for the spring and this whole... This whole thing that's going on right now where everyone's quarantining themselves and stuff like that, I guess, gives me the opportunity to really just get the content I need. Less people on the roads, more space for me to drive. But uh, I live up here in the country, and there's really there's really not much much of a worry right now. But anyway, guys, I'm ending the video off here. So please like, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, smile, guys. I cracked my wheel. I'm still smiling because at the end of the day, yeah, I'm going to have to pay to get it fixed. But I'm just happy that my car is here. I got these wheels on, and... Uh, I can still drive my car. So guys, just have a good day. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.